Right you guys, got another product review here for you. This is the Mini PC W8 Pro. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button to be notified when we upload new videos. Now as you can see here, there's the hardware specification Windows 10. So let's go through some of the specs here. You've got the Cherry Trail Z8300 quad-core processor 64-bit CPU running at 1.84 gigahertz that supports AES. As internal HD graphics on there, generation 8 LP12EU up to 500 megahertz supports uh, DirectX 11.1 OpenGL. We also have 2 gigabytes of internal RAM, which is DDR3, and also 32 gigabytes of Flash eMMC, which is your storage. Would have liked to have seen 64 gig there. We've got the network, which supports from A, B, G, and N generations, 2.4 gigahertz, Bluetooth 4.0 on there as well. Maximum uh, support for 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second using the HDMI uh, 1.4b. And we also have one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0s. Now I would have liked to have seen the four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM in there and also 64 gigabytes of internal storage. That is the one I would go for if I was buying this one myself. Now, as you can see here, we do have the Wintel Windows plus Intel box. This is the Win uh, W8 Pro version and it does come with a user manual here as you can see color pictures and a bit of text to show you how to set it up it's pretty straightforward it is a windows pc basically and i think that's how uh, the market is going to move towards these little mini pcs with windows on them now these adapters are probably the best ones that i like which is the interchangeable bits here with rather than using the um, adapters but these are pretty cool you just slot them into position and you can use which one depending on what part of the world you live in now you do have an HDMI cable here uh, for you to use which will go from the box to the TV and that's pretty much it and put a bit of power to it so we have the Wintel Pro very small box as you can see here so it's gonna be ideal for a, a living room or something like that where you can uh, stream all your content we've got a power button on the front here that piano black uh, finish around the outside here looks pretty nice as you can see and it's a very very small box uh, for these types of uh, Windows boxes on the back we do have uh, the headphone port uh, Ethernet port and also HDMI port little tiny uh, USB port there and also the 5 volts uh, DC power input there so we can power the device ventilation on the bottom here and I did find that this ran pretty cool so it was pretty nice it does come with Windows 10 home on this one uh, some of them come with Windows 10 Pro but this one has Windows 10 home so let's go ahead and do some testing I'm gonna run some benchmarks here and do some other testing you can see we've got some benchmarks 75,423 for this little box which isn't too bad for a Windows box and uh, we're gonna move on to some gaming here now these are not really taxing games but it's just a game to show you, you can play games on it you can also stream movies play Netflix do what you want to do on these types of boxes as you can see here just playing a little game here which you downloaded from the Windows store now this is a pretty uh, beefy game to play Asphalt and Airborne and this is where the memory uh, problem come in as you can see here because it only had two gigabytes this version you can see the memory is running at 80% and sometimes it went a bit above that and you can see the CPU is coping just fine but games like this it can cope with pretty easy but Asheville it just needed that little bit more memory and that's why I suggested to go for the four gigabyte version because it will give you that added memory to handle those types of games with ease and also the extra storage does help uh, when you're updating windows because you could run into problems uh, with 32 gigabytes uh, when you update a big like spring update you you won't have enough space on that drive if you've been installing stuff but as you can see plays all these games uh, pretty okay uh, not a problem at all so let's play some test samples for some videos these are 4k video and I'll just play these through the film and TV app inside Windows 10 and you can see they're nice and smooth now the little slight jerkiness is from the actual drone I would have thought uh, because these are drone shots apart from this one and you can see it plays these files no problems at all so nice and easy to play uh, all your movies and stuff like that if you had movies uh, 4k movies it will play those as well so I'll just play this last one here and let's play the last one a little bit of drone footage here 
and you can see there is a slight little uh, movement there but that's probably due to the drone when they've uh, filmed it but it looks pretty good and as you can see nice and smooth and now it's stabled out nice and steady so you can play all those 4k files and also your movies anything like that on there stream Netflix all that's all good stuff on this type of TV box and it's only a small TV box so if you're looking for something small and compact then this could be the one for you let me just quickly uh, show you some streaming here and uh, we're going to stream this uh, same video here on the website itself I think it only lets you stream at 1080p on here uh, but it does let you stream 4k on YouTube as well so you can stream YouTube at 4k and there we go and I'll just play one more on this site here so as you can see it copes with all your streaming needs and you can also stream on Netflix and YouTube it will stream on YouTube for 4k and it will also play all your 4k movies as well plus 1080p at 60 frames per second so it plays all those files no problem at all you can play your games on here again some limitations for it because obviously I would have thought the memory uh, will be uh, an issue because you've only got two gigabytes of memory in here but they do sell a four gigabyte version and I'd also go with a 64 gigabyte uh, ROM version which is your storage that gives you a little bit of a um, extra bit of uh, space in case you need it anyway I'll leave the link in the video description if you're interested my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos